Hi, welcome to this Excel video tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Power Query to combine multiple tables from multiple sheets, and then we're going to see how to deploy the sum ifs and the pivot table to create a report that will display the total sales and percentage of total sales by country. Therefore, let's get started. Now, we have this SIS record from 2016, 17 rather, to 2013, and each of this table in the respective sheet has been formatted as an Excel table because we have the table design contextual on tab and we have given a meaningful table name. So, what I'm going to do is to get this table into the Power Query and move on. So, to do that, click on the data tab of the ribbon and click on From Sheet. In your own version you can see from table slash range so i'm going to click on this or you can even right click and choose get data from sheet and that will get the data into the power query editor and that's what we have now now in the applied steps we have this changed type meaning that the data types has been changed based on the data we have in each of the columns now i'm going to come to the source i'm not going to delete this just come to the source and in the formula bar i'm going to get rid of this section of the m code delete and i click on ok so you can actually see all the tables we have in the current workbook so you can actually click on this to view the data let's move this up okay so this is the dim table that is what we need to create a snowflake margin so you can see this is for 26 17 16 15 14 and 13 now i'm going to get rid of this tbl country this no the dim table rather so click on this filter button and uncheck tbl country click ok and i do not need this particular name column so i'm going to right click and choose remove and it's going to prompt me to insert a step because we have a current step that is the change type so i'm going to click on please insert and we have the removed columns step inserted and then we can actually see that we have this you know our data still in table and we can click on this expand button so i click on that and uncheck use original column name as prefix and click ok so it's going to ask me to of course insert another step that is to expand content and we have it a expanded content and the data has of course been combined together so now this changed type is now taking effect so let's just transform this and choose proper data type so i'm going to change this to date and of course i'm going to replace current step and come right in here so this is fine let's just make this to be currency and that's all we need to do now so having done this i'm going to just click on close and load tool now i actually want to get the country list table into the power query so i need to create a connection that I can refer to again so click on only create connection so click on ok and we have the queries and connection tax pane coming up on the right side of the screen now let's come to this country list and of course we need to get this into the power query so right click and choose get data from sheet and then we have the second query in the power query now we need to create a snowflake margin so now to do that you can come to this just right click anywhere from here and choose new query and choose combine and choose match query or you can even do that from the home tab of the ribbon and under the combined the combined group click on this match queries and choose match queries as new so let's go with this match queries as new now this is where we need to perform the snowflake margin so i'm going to come here or do Alt down arrow key to select the many sides where we have the combined table and i want to point to the country id that is peculiar to tbl country here and then we have this selection matches the same number of rows from the first table and click on ok all right so we have a new table now so let's just you know name this and call this one transaction data and click enter now let's go through the table i'm going to just remove this country id i don't need it again so choose remove and the column has been removed then come to the right and click on this expand button and then uncheck use original column name as prefix uncheck 
country ID and we only need the corresponding country based on the country ID. So click OK and we have all the countries. Let's just move this to the left of the screen. All right, so that's all we need to do in the Power Query. Now let's click on close and load again. We want to close and load tool and create a connection because we do not want to dump all these other tables or queries into a different tables in Excel. So just choose only create connection and click OK. And then we have it ready. So I'm going to just right click on this main one, which is the matched table and choose load to then want to load to a table and want a new sheet and um, let's click OK. Absolutely cool. So let's check it out. So we have all the table 2013 to 2017. Now we have a blank, no problem. I think that's the last row beneath. So let's get this one out. So let's delete this and then our data is looking awesome. So we have the 2013 to 2017. Now let's just do something. The sum ifs and the pivot table. So I'm going to copy this country and paste here. Control V and then I'm going to use the sort and unique dynamic arrays so equal sign sort and we want the unique and then want to get it from this our country so close the two parentheses control enter so we have the extracted unique country sorted in ascending order okay now let's perform the total sales okay Now, to do that, we need to deploy the sum ifs function. So, equal sign sum ifs. Now, in this case, since it's a single criteria, we can use the singular that is the sum ifs, but I prefer to use the sum ifs all the time. So, put the sum ifs, and we need the sum range, which is this our sys amount column, comma, and the criteria range one is going to be the country many sides, comma. And of course, we can give this. You know, spill ranges because this is a uh, sort of dynamic arrays. So we have this J2 pound sign, meaning it's going to give me all the list. Okay, so close parenthesis, control, enter, absolutely cool. All right, so let's just apply in a currency, control shift four to get rid of the decimals, and then let's have a total over here, come to sales styles, total. And let's put some total here and then to total everything for other countries do alt equal sign which gives the auto sum control enter and the total for all the country is one billion eight seven one million seven nine nine thousand three nine six now let's calculate the percentage of total sales let me just copy this control v f2 okay and then we want the percentage of total sales and that's a whole lot easy okay to do that i'm going to just put in equal sign take this value here divide by the sum of everything here or you can even just use k2 divide by this total in k23 okay and then you apply absolute cell reference anyone that's convenient is absolutely cool let's just do that okay let's just grab this total and then press f for key one so this is absolute and this is relative so let's control enter and let's drag down and let's of course apply the percentage and let's do everything together Ctrl alt equal sign control enter and we have a hundred percent let's just apply some little decimals okay all right so we have it ready now let's do the same thing for the pivot table so i'm I'm going to click inside the data and of course come to the insert tab of the ribbon and choose pivot table from table slash range and we want the existing worksheet let's just dump it here click ok and we need the country right so come to the rows and we need the sys amount just click on this and we drag yet another one and let's just scroll to the right okay let's just tidy things up first so let's just apply you know the report layout that is to show in title form and we have the descriptive name of the field that we drag and drop inside the rows and then let's apply the currency here 
and choose currency let's get rid of the decimals click ok and let's do the same thing for this now we need this to be the percentage percentage of sales amount or total sales as the case may be right click and choose show values as percentage of grant total and that's absolutely cool let's close this and we have the same you know result let's just grab this move it up okay so we have exactly the same result using the worksheet function that is the sum ifs and also the pivot table and the total is still the same thing one billion eight seven one million plus so if you check the pivot table we have the same value so this is essentially how you can use the power query to combine multiple tables from multiple sheets use the pivot table and some ifs thank you and bye for now cheers